I need to drink some more gin because uh, my voice is gone. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. Guys, I have a sore throat yet again. Um, yesterday my voice went, well, it was pretty much Thursday, but my voice went and it is back, but it's still a little husky. It's still not quite right. So this is probably the first week of the video that you've actually heard my sore throat. Um, I was out today in Manchester with my mum and our lovely family friends and they were saying like you can tell you've got a sore throat but it doesn't probably sound as bad as what you think so we might be okay but welcome back to my youtube channel um week 10 of the strictly debrief actually the 11th strictly debrief because i did one for the launch show so we are far into this and we are worldwide hello to poland this week some lovely, lovely person from Poland last week commented on the video saying that she was watching. Someone from Dubai was watching as well. Um, I can't remember your guy's name, so I feel so bad. I should have looked before I recorded this. Um, and South Africa as normal. Lovely guy from South Africa who watches. So we are worldwide. Miss International. Um, one thing I have noticed, though, is a lot of people that watch my video. Well, not a lot. A few of you that watch my videos, don't actually get to see the the actual show. So to me, that's like, oh, crazy. So I just want to make that clear to you guys that this video is purely my opinion and not, it's not fully represented, repre represented? Rep it doesn't fully represent everyone's opinions of the show. I just want to make that clear because um, honestly, I know you guys get to see the dancers on YouTube, but you don't get to see the whole show. So I don't want to speak on behalf of the whole of the UK, but yeah. Oh my God, we've been talking for two minutes, let's move this on. <laughs> like, sometimes I just sit here and think, it's just a load of drizzle, move on. So yes, that took me two minutes to explain that. Um, let's talk about Strictly then. So last week, we sadly say goodbye to Angela Weapon in Blackpool. That was sad, um, but I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Obviously, she was against Bobby. She was against Bobby and Diane, which was a big shock. I did think it'd be Nigel. But yeah, she was against Bobby and Diane, so that was quite a surprise. But yeah, we said bye to Angela and Kai. It wasn't completely unexpected. But yeah, I loved the Blackpool dance, the group dance, because they did Head and Heart, Joel Corey. And I'm pretty sure, didn't they do Lizzo? Good as hell. Or did I just make that up? I think they did Lizzo as well. Was it special? They did a Lizzo song anyway, and I thought it was great. And they did Joel Corey Head and Heart, which is a song I love. So that was brilliant. But let's get on with week 10, my friends. So I'm meant to be on Voice First um, this weekend, so that I'm, I've taught all week. So I'm going to teach all next week as well. Um, so I'm meant to be on Voice First, so this video is going to be quite quick now. Um, and I've obviously been out all day chatting, so yes. Week 10, which is wild. There's only six celebs left. Starting the show, Tess and Claude looking good in red, love that. Motsy, neon Motsy, yes, I loved it. A uh, little uh, Vic Hope in the audience, um, a little view of Vic Hope in the audience from Radio 1, love Vic Hope. Met her twice, lovely woman. Um, very colourful, everyone was very colourful tonight, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, but let's get in to the main meal of the debrief. Uh, Leighton, Williams and Nikita. To start with, they did the, they did the American Smooth. Um, I gave them a nine. To start with, the song that they did, It's So So Quiet. I don't like that song until it gets going and it didn't get going that much. So um, not a fan of the song. However, cute dance, cute outfits, great dance. It was good. It wasn't his best, but I just love watching Leighton and Nikita. It was a really good performance, but yeah, not their best dance. And I don't think it was as American smooth as it should be. But it was still a nine for me and Motsi and Anton. But yeah, something was just not as like, wow, this was amazing as normal. So yeah, but it was still a nine. So it was still good. But yeah, 
couldn't quite put my finger on it. Then we saw the lovely Amy Dowden rocking her grey boot, bless her heart. But yeah, all I love to Amy Dowden as always. It was lovely to see her tonight. Uh, next up, Nigel Harmon and Katia Jones. Um, they did the rumba, which was too, it's all coming back to me now, which reminded me of when Gemma Collins did Dancing on Ice and she was going along and she just went flat on her face to that. Um, so that reminded me of that. It was a really cute routine. Um, and he did the rumba so well. Uh, the rumba is hard and I wasn't expecting the best from Nigel and Katia this week, but oh, it was so good, dreamy. It was really good. He danced so well. And yeah, just strong, like so much better than expected. Lovely, just lovely. Great dance on them. Yeah, good eight from me. Thought that was solid. Uh, next up was Annabelle Cross and Johannes. They did the Paso Doble. And you know what? It was really traditional. I really liked it. Just the start when, wow, she just like threw herself at him. She jumped at him. The drama, it was so good. It was just fab, fab. Fab, wow, she's so good. And she has come on such a journey. I gave her a nine and she got her first 10 from Anton, which was lovely. The girls gave nine, honestly, Craig gave eight, boo. 36, um, yeah, lovely that she got a 10 from Anton. It wasn't quite a 10 for me, but it was a nine, but, but, but yeah, it, it, it was good, really, really good. And I'm so glad I got a 10. I can't speak tonight. I literally can't speak because I've got no voice, but also my words are just... Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, stunning dance from Annabelle and Johannes. Okay, up next, Angela Scanlon. We're in part two of the dancers already. It's crazy. She has a cha-cha, so I will survive. 31, so the lowest score of the night. I did give her an eight. I loved her dress, by the way. Iconic. Not as keen on Carlos's shirt, but it was nice. Her legs... Great. Uh, it really was a fab dance. And do you know what? I feel like the past couple of weeks, Angela Scanlon has really entered the competition. But yeah, no, it was a good dance. Not her best, but it was really good. So yeah, I was happy with that. I did really enjoy it. So stunning, stunning, stunning scenes. Next up, Bobby Brazier and Diane Boswell to them. Oh, couple's choice to um, this woman's work. Oh, my life. Beautiful. A 10 from me. First 10 of the night. Um, from me anyway. Two 10s for Bobby. A 9 from Motsi. An 8 from Craig. Boo. Oh my life. First of all, how emotional was that? Just wow. Like the beautiful start of the screen with them behind the screen. Oh, it was gorgeous. It was so gorgeous. Just so good. Like, that's actually all I've wrote on notes because I was just so, like, focused on it and so in the moment. And, oh, it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. The story about his mum, Jade Goody. Oh, it was just everything. It was so amazing. I loved it. I love Bobby and Diane, but this week I just loved them even more. Like, it was such a story. Like, pure, pure just amazement from them this week. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, Bobby and Diane, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It was just spectacular, just beautiful. And it was really nice to see a, a proper, proper, proper story behind the dance. And yeah, his, his favourite dance of mine, I think. It was just, yeah, beautiful. Just, yeah, lovely. And I feel like he really needed to be at the top of the leaderboard. Well, he's second, but at this point he was top of the leaderboard, which was lovely. I need to drink some more gin because uh, my voice is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Anyway, next up, last but not least, West End Deli, Aldito, Argentine Chango, Chang Chango, Tango, uh, to Bills, Bills, Bills by Destiny's Child. Two tens and a ten from me. Wow, that was fierce. So, so good. Very traditional. Um, it was fab. It was just fab. On point, insane. Everything and more. Ellie and Zito are just incredible, I think. I think they're going to win it. I think they're my faves to win. But yeah, lovely, 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 lovely. Again, not a lot to say. Just fab. I just really, really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, Bobby 
and Ellie this week were just my favourites. So good. But yeah, Ellie and Zito. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. To them too. Chef's kiss. It was just theus and it was just them and it was amazing amazing i can't wait to see them again next week i loved it the show was an hour half seven to a half eight it just went like that like it went so fast this week so yeah but lovely lovely from them beautiful scenes and just like that we're in uh the votes part of the um video it's not going to come as a shock but here's the order ellie then Bobby, then Leighton this week. But yeah, phenomenal. All votes go to them. Of my free votes, because we only get free votes in the UK, guys. Um, so yeah, my free votes, Ellie, Bobby and Leighton. And just like that, we're at the end of the video. But before we go, we have to delve into the dance-off. So looking at the leaderboard, the bottom, the bottom three on the leaderboard is Angela, then Nigel, then Leighton. Leighton's quite low down on the leaderboard this week. I'm not, I'm not impressed with that. Because, um, I mean, he got a good score. Like, he got 34, but Nigel got 33, and then Angela got 31. But then above that, Annabelle got 36, Bobby got 37, and Ellie got 38. So it's going to be between Angela, Nigel, and Leighton. Um, first in the dance-off, I do think it's going to be Angela Scanlon and Carlos. I do think they're going to be in the dance-off this week. Um... Purely because they're bottom of the leaderboard and it's a dangerous place to be. Um, I think they're going to be against Nigel and Katia. And, oh, I think it will be close. I think it will be close. But we're getting to the part of the competition where I don't want anyone to leave anyway. But we're getting close. So I think that, sadly, Angela Scanlon will go against Nigel Harmon. And they won't make it through to the quarterfinals, which is musicals week. So, yeah. Angela and Carlos to go, I'm afraid. I normally have got the dance-offs dance offs quite spot on with at least who the person leads, but sometimes not who they're up against. So, yes, we'll be interested about that. I feel like I'm about to have a coughing bit, sip of gin again. <sighs> Standing better. Thank you so much for watching my video. Sorry that it might have been really fast and yeah, I had to put up with my huskiness of my tones hopefully by next week that'll be gone next week i'm in london um although there's a train strike so don't know how we're getting home so that's fun i literally have no idea because of that i literally have no idea when i'm gonna get the video out to you all i hoped i would record it on sunday night and maybe post it monday but train strikes and everything i don't know when the video will be here but last week I told you the video would be late and it was there on Sunday because I never ended up going out with tea. So, yes, next week's video, just wait for it. I'll let you know on Insta when it's coming. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a pleasure, as always, to make these Strictly D boys. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would mean the world. But, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, that comments, comments in the comments every week because I really look forward to just reading that and sharing opinions which is so lovely so shout out to you all again my strictly pals on the whatsapp loved it this week happy birthday louise it's louise's birthday today everyone wish louise happy birthday three two one happy birthday louise um but yeah thank you so much for watching my youtube channel i will see you next week at some time but yeah let me know your predictions for the dance off but yeah thank you so much for watching and all that is left to say is keep dancing